we women want to read your second volume of autobiography, Barry, because I loved your first one. Was it Journey of the Paradise? Your, I loved your Did autobiography. You? Have you read... Oh, oh, so they're not there. No. Uh, no sorry. There. Have you read Dame Edna's autobiography? You <laughs> haven't? Well, I loved your life story. You know, we should think about doing something about your life story. Uh, what? I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, it, don't you think it could be uh, like a, a musicalized or something? Barry, it could. Don't you think? But Barry, Stephen sometimes is too busy to write the music. Oh, wait a minute, I could do it. You? Sure. Oh, viewers, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> what could we call it? No, you, know, you must have a the wonderful... The Sound of Edna? That's could it, The call? Sound of Edna. <laughs> A new musical by Barry Manilow. Hello, Edna. We'd make music. Hello, Edna. And that's it. <laughs> you could play me as a young girl, Sean. Oh, we could put it on in the barn. Look, try those on, Sean. <laughs> Say hello, possums. Hello, possums. Isn't that gorgeous? You've got a cat. That's beautiful. Funny, because, you know... When I was young, I looked exactly like Sean Young. <laughs> which gives you a rough idea what she's going to look like. <laughs> 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 like ben Crosby could play my husband. He could. Well, but he's not alive. No, neither is my husband. Oh. <laughs> You could I mean, dance. I... She could dance. She's a lovely dancer. You could dance. Would she dance in my musical? Sure. But show us a little dance now, Sean. I'll, I'll audition later. Are you shy? Oh, that's a pity. Never mind. I can understand that. Probably wants more money to dance. Me, that is his name. No, no, I don't mean that. <laughs> I'm being very rude to you. I've suddenly remembered. You're sitting there, and I haven't offered you any hospitality. Not a cup of tea, not a little nibble, sorry. not a... No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a lot. Hospitality. Call for little Caesar, my butler. He's beautiful. Oh, hello, Caesar. What would you like? A cup of tea? Caesar and... Uh, uh, really, I... I no, no, I, no, I, please, I'm, please. I'm, I'm more... I'm we haven't juice? offered our guest any Orange juice? Talent. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. A glass of orange juice for Mr. Manilow, please. I'm sorry, madam. We don't have orange juice. Caesar, I sent you out yesterday for some orange juice. It was on the list. Well, I forgot. Oh, Caesar, your memory is impossible these days. It looks like I have to do everything. It's, it's all right. No, Barry, I'm sorry. You've demanded orange juice. <laughs> you stamped your foot and yelled for orange juice. I will get you orange juice. Don't really? worry, Caesar. I'll get it myself, darling. Get the car ready, Madge, will you? Get into your chauffeur's uniform and get the car. Off. <laughs> Quick sticks. You know... Even if my show is a disaster because I've had to go away for 20 minutes or so to get orange juice. You know, even if the words orange juice are graven on my heart at the autopsy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to set new standards of talk show hospitality. Now, just entertain each other and the world. Bye! <laughs> jet lag.
Sunshine. Is there is there a Mega South checkout, an Express checkout here? Please. I know this might sound silly, but I'm on the air at this moment. I'm being beamed via the satellite to, to millions of people all over the world. I have my own show. It's, it's network, TV. Please, let me through. I mean, why else would I be wearing this beautiful frock? Hi, gente loca por todos lados. There's people Edna, in my living room. Edna, Edna. Bert, Bert. Oh, 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 come up here with me. Come up please help me. Bert. No, no, please. I, I, I shop here all the time because, I, you know, it's quiet, it's understated, and, you know, I don't like to be recognized, so I, I come to these really quiet places where people don't usually know who I am. Hey, would you like a, a couple more? These are for the Ninos, Carmen. I'm in a hurry. I haven't any money. Oh, Can don't you... worry about dying. Put a la quinta para Senora Maicheco, huh? Uh, Franco. You speak Spanish. Man. Oh, my, I have the gift of tongues. You'd be ideal on my wonderful show. Please come home with me now. Uh, do, do you have wheels? Oh, yes, I have my vehicle, Mega One. Mega One? I have Mega Two. I wanted Mega One. Sorry. Damn. Damn, I thought... I thought Please. Chalk Heston had Mega One. It's the only one that can see it. Wonderful. What a blessing I ran into you. Listen, am I, I dressed all right for the gathering? Yes, yes. Oh, good. good. You don't have to be dressed for what I have in mind. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Dame Edna's residence. Caesar, Caesar, we're in the car. I've got the juice. Go to a commercial. Go to a commercial. Yes, madam. Dame Edna will return shortly. In the meanwhile, uh, may I invite you on her behalf to take an informative commercial break. Right after this, from Dame Edna's beautiful Beverly Hills mansion, Burke Reynolds.